what's pop what's poppin guys hope you guys have an amazing day and today i'll be giving you guys a tutorial on kinemaster now kinemaster is obviously one of the best and really good mobile editing apps which is almost as good as you can get on computers of course not as good but people who just like me beginners who start off uh just with a phone well i have a laptop as well but i'll be showing you for now but for people that only have a phone for now this is a very helpful app so let's get started first of all all right so when you enter kingdom master it's just gonna come here to this page and if you already have some projects that you've made this will kind of go to the left side and on the right side there will be a bunch of there'll be your your projects your saved projects um and then next basically you you can see that big orange button right up there you're just gonna click that and it's gonna ask you to select the aspect ratio of the project so the one thing to be noted here is that once you choose one of these you cannot change it after so if you actually want to you're just gonna have to you know go away from the project that you've been making and you're gonna have to start a new one so yes that is a small you know bad point in this but other than that can master is great so for now i'm gonna go with a 16 to 9 one so the horizontal one there we go and yeah all right guys so i have made a sample video you can see up there the black video uh of the camera in camera and you can see this and there you go it's just gonna drop down and you see the tick mark in the top right corner you're just gonna click that and there you go so first things first I'm just going to uh... all right so first things first we're gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you where everything is so down here where I'm scrolling my uh, play uh, play line is the place where your video is dropped or any other videos where you want to add is gonna come there um, and then there's the arrow at the the back arrow at the top left corner which is the to just go back um, then there's the undo uh, undo button and the redo button and then if you click this basically you can see all of these capture and save capture and add as clip and all of those settings I'll be getting to after or I might not as it's not I'm not gonna get all get into all the features here just the most main ones then you've got this sun sign uh, you got the settings so basically here what's happening is audio you can there's a bunch of settings so i'm not going to go into all of these because they're i'm not going to go through all of them then there's uh, this button where it'll just show you the video and the video down there for other purposes but we're not going to use that and then we got this one so you just keep going to the end and so if you go, if you've got a really 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 long video and you want to scroll all the way back it's pretty hard so you just click that one and to go front to go back so yeah and then you've got the uh well also one thing to know is that uh well first of all you can see the black screen which is where the video is so i just made a video which has fully complete black in it so um yeah but um you can see that it actually has a watermark yep it has a watermark uh you can see the made with kinemaster it's pretty big as well and if you actually want to take it out you can click that uh, dustbin thing and uh yeah so you have to get the premium one to remove the watermark uh which you have to pay so i'm not going to get into that yet um and then you've got the save button next to the dustbin one and then you've got this one the play so as i'm playing you can see i just played it and i can pause it play pause so now then you have your your the circular button and things and right around there you can see media that's to add another video or photo you can see layer so as you click layer there's so many things comes like handwriting you can add another hand you can add add handwriting over you can add text you can add, add overlay you can add, add effect you can add, add more media and i'll be getting to these in just a moment 
then you can put a voiceover as you can see voice and audio and i'll be getting to those in a little bit of time so first things first we're gonna go with media so media as you click it you're just gonna come back here and you can just make and you can just add any picture or anything like that so for example if i click this and the tick mark you can see now that this has come and if you just play it this is going to come the whole time and boom and if you want to move this to another place you're just going to select it and all right so i'll show you that in just a moment there's yeah something wrong um and you can see the add button in the transition if you click that you can add the transition effects so you would probably for a youtube video or anything you probably want to go with a very basic one uh because it's never good to get full-on big big transitions um but yeah there's loads of transitions here i'm not going to go through all these but yeah you can just choose the transition that you want and by the way uh kinemaster is totally free uh, from the play store so yeah all right so now that we've looked at the transitions and everything let's go layer now layer has got a bunch of stuff here so again media you can add a picture or anything like that or add even another video uh so but first we're gonna go with handwriting so as you click handwriting you can do this and basically you just draw on it or you can just write All right and then you've got the eraser like that and then you've got the clear completely clear button right next to the eraser with the dotted line around it yeah and this is the thickness and everything like that and uh yeah and these are a bunch of other things so um, these are some whatever you're doing all right so i'm not gonna get into these actually because there was a lot of stuff so for example as you play it here now nothing will come up as i erased everything but for example if i do this and i take this all right and just start drawing around it and i click the trick tick mark always click the tick mark if you want to um save it to the video you're just gonna click in now and this is what's gonna happen and yeah so even here you can use the handwriting on here like this tick mark so now as you keep going through there's more handwriting you can see right over there now next thing is if you want this handwriting to go all the way till the end you can see those edges big big yellow edges you're just gonna hold on that and then you, you'll see the duration and you can just extend it as long as you want same with the other handwriting just do it as long as you want all right next again layer then text is another one so this here text is you can write anything like this and click ok and you'll get this and one thing is pretty cool um so this now you can see that um two arrows straight arrows not the other one using that you can uh enlarge in it and then with the other one you can tilt it so for example i put this and then now this is a really cool part you have two of these so the keyboard again all right and like that and also this one so you can see aa that's the font and in font you've got so many fonts and yeah you can choose any one of these for now i'm just going to go with this one tick and then so we've got that and then basically this is trimming but i'll get to that after oh sorry Alright, so then in animation is important. So this is how it's going to come inside. So for example, if I'm just going to do that, right? Alright, so I want it to... You've got all of these in animations. So you got none, fade, pop, slide right, slide left, slide up, slide down, clockwise, counterclockwise, drop, scale up, scale down, converge, letter by letter, wipe right, wipe left, wipe 
up, white down, and pop outward, pop down, pop us, pop up, pop open, enter slide up, enter slide down, enter slide left, enter slide right, and rubber stamp. So you've got so many of these. So if you want rubber stamp, for example, it's going to give you this of how, you know, how much time you want it. So if, for example, you want it around here in the middle, or you can do one second or one point all of your 1.5 seconds around like that anyway and then you're just gonna click tick and then basically as you come in here boom the rubber stamp all right and then there's overall animations so there's a bunch of these again you can do this if you want or yeah so anything like that you can go with none because I'm gonna show you another thing here and then out animations this is how it's gonna exit for example if we go with slide down for now and we go 0 0.5 tick so then as you can see it's gonna come the rubber stamp and to go out it's gonna slide down and then uh, let's see what other options there are and all of these are the opacity, rotate, blending. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'm pretty sure you can figure these out yourself. Because if I were to go through, there's so many options there. There's every so many things in Kingdom Master. It would be really, really big video and tutorial. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to overlay. Uh and then we're gonna go to classic stickers and then you got so many stickers and if you click get more you'll come here and then there's animations here so you've got all of these animations most of them most of them are premium but some of them are not you've got stickers you've got text and titles you've got all of these as well so yeah we're not gonna go through all of these uh, because again I told you we're just going through the key features all right now okay so again layer so we've done with handwriting text overlay effect so effect is next there's basic effects like Gaussian blur and mosaic but you can get more and this again is fine and then media I have already showed you is just to add some a picture or anything like that all right and then next voice all right so this is more of a, a voiceover so what you can do is basically here you can just add in voiceover so if I click start now this is going to be recording all of my sound right now i don't know if my thing is working or not but let's see okay so the voice recording was too uh short okay yeah all right so you but you get the idea you can add voiceovers and then next is audio uh so songs i don't have any and then basically there's just a bunch of these uh, music assets, F SFX, recorded, alright. So I'm not gonna again go through all of these, as I said earlier. Alright, so now we're done with layer completely. What we're gonna do next is, so we're done with all of these, and if you click, wait, so if you click the circular button, the orange circular button, the other two things are gonna come. So you can click, if you click camera, hello, and boom you're here in here so I'll just click back because we don't need one right now and then um, just the camcorder is to record so uh, yeah you're not gonna use this now then uh, so we've done with all of these but a, ma a major part is trimming and all of that so you can if you click this these are gonna come up so if you, first of all if you want to trim from the corners you just click those yellow things as i told earlier and you're just gonna do this as i told earlier 
the trim. But then what about if you want to split or cut things from the uh, middle, right? So from suppose here to here, you want to cut all that in the middle. Now what you can do is you're just going to select the clip, all right? You're just going to click the trim. And here it's really cool because it says trim to left of play, play ahead. So basically what this means is you're going to trim everything in this clip to the left of it. So what that means is, I'll just show you with arrows in this video. And uh, so basically what this means is, it's going to trim all of that and to the end of the video from the left in this clip. Alright? And then trim to right of play that is opposite, it's going to trim everything to the right. So what this is mainly used for is basically, it's useful if you have a really long video and you don't really want to cut all of that. It's for that. But for now, we're just going to use, and I'm not going to go into split and insert freeze frame, but I'm going to go with split at playhead. So, boom. Now, what it just did, it, it just split it. So, you can see it split it. And then here, basically, what you can do is you want to cut from that split that I did to here, if you want. Then you're going to select this clip. And again, you're just going to click that split at playhead. So, now you have this clip right here. And then what you're going to do, as you want to delete it, is just, you can see that delete button right there on the sidebar. And you're just going to click that and boom, it's gone. So that's exactly how you cut from like that. So yeah, it's very simple uh, and everything. And then, yeah, let's go through these other ones. So you've got the volume here. So I'm not going to go through all of these. Actually, I'll go through this. So this is basically just the volume that there is in the video. This is this, the volume. And then this. these are all some complicated things that I won't be going through. Next thing is clip graphics. So these are just a bunch of graphics that you can use. And then there is speed. So speed is important. Uh, here is the speed, so you can just keep going through the speed like this. So for example, if that's good, I'm just going to click this, and then boom, it's going through really slowly. So if you click this again, uh, and then you go to speed, and then you go all the way to the max 3.5. Alright, so this is going to come, but... It's fine, this is just for a tutorial. And boom. So that's how fast it was. Next is, so we done speed reverse. So this is just gonna uh, reverse the thing, it's gonna go backwards, so for now I'm gonna go with cancel. Uh, and then rotate slash mirroring, and then you can just mirror this up like that, or mirror it up like that, and rotate, rotate, but nothing's gonna really happen because it's just a black screen. Uh, and then there's color filter. So you can do a basic, warm, cold. Nothing I don't think is going to happen really because it's a black screen that I'm using for as a sample video. But uh, yeah. Alright, so now color filter is done and then adjustment. So this is the brightness, uh, contrast, saturation, vibrance, and all of these. And you've got, if you scroll down, those are not all, you've got so many more like temperature, highlights, shadows, gain, gamma, lift, and who. So you can click apply to all as well, so it's going to happen to all the clips. Uh, so those are all like premium things. And then adjustment, uh, and then EQ. All right, so I'm not gonna go too much into all of these, but um, you can use voice changer. So if you actually spoke, you can use that. But we're gonna go with normal voice changers, basically when you just use it to change the type of voice. And if you want to extract audio, 
all the audio that you have spoken in the video will be gone so yeah except for if you make any voice um, any voice overlays so uh, and then if you click this one by the way this button next to the under the uh, voice and layer it's going to just take you to the store we can buy a lot of these All right, guys, so that is it for today. Hope you guys liked and, and this helped you with the with KineMaster or any of your YouTube images, uh, YouTube videos that you might do or anything. Not in YouTube, you can do it for anything. Um, so, yeah, so until next time, see ya.